It looks like a toothpaste. This is, oh my god, I just lost the foundation. Hi guys, in this video we are going to be testing a new foundation by Catrice Cosmetics and this is the Poreless Perfection Mousse Foundation. You can find this in 4 shades and I got mine in the shade 10. This is silicon free, cruelty free and vegan. The price of it is 5 euros and 99 and we are getting 30 milliliters of product. This foundation has a mousse formulation. It claims that it can give a light to medium coverage and also that it can give a natural matte poreless finish to your skin so we're going to check that I'm going to let the foundation on my face all day long so we're going to do a wear test to see if it is long lasting and how it works on the packaging it says that this is for a normal and oily skin and I have dry and sensitive we're going to see how that works let's hope for the best this product is made in Italy and I was very interested in this one because I have also tried the mousse foundation by Essence a few weeks ago and that one became quickly one of my favorite foundations the only thing that I don't like in the Essence foundation is that it comes in a jar and you have to scoop out the product and this one is a squeezable tube it is much more convenient to use and I'm very excited for that I really hope that I can use it on my dry and sensitive skin Head band on. I'm gonna start off with my primer and I'm gonna use this one by Catrice that I have been using I think for the last three years this is my go-to primer when I'm testing a new foundation and this is the prime and fine pore refining anti shine base it is long lasting and oil free let's continue with the foundation and on one side I'm gonna use a sponge on the other side I'm gonna use a brush we have this safety tape here let's take it off and I'm very curious about the formula oh my god it's so thick why this is not moussey okay it feels like a mousse but it is much more dense and it's not as creamy as the essence foundation okay that's very weird i'm going to just apply whatever i have on my fingers as you can see the color is very nice and now it looks like a bb cream not the foundation let's try again oh my god why this is oh my god I just lost the foundation okay apparently I'm gonna use it with my fingers change of plans I don't think this is how the formula is supposed to be and that's so weird so about the coverage it's not bad we have a medium coverage it doesn't cover my veins I think it did a very good job for my redness also the discolorations on my forehead I'm gonna use some on the neck as well. I will try to use some more just on this area to see if it is buildable. I'm so disappointed of the formula. I mean, it looks like a toothpaste and it is even thicker. It didn't completely cover this area, but it is less visible. I'm trying just to shake it. I don't know maybe that helps I haven't used my sponge and it's not sticky at all I think it needs just a very light layer of powder to set it it covered very nicely the redness that I have on my cheeks also some spots so I think it has a very nice light to medium coverage I want to try to use it with my sponge on the other side so <laughs> wish me luck yeah this is this this is terrible so my sponge cannot absorb the product yep yeah nothing is happening so fingers it is for quick makeup looks I don't mind using my fingers but I like the freshness of a damp beauty sponge because it gives a little bit of hydration to my skin and a very nice feeling maybe this problem is only for my product why? just why the product becomes softer after you warm it up between your fingers 
but it's not easy to use it with a brush or a sponge. No, I have applied on my brows. Terrible. So the color that I picked up is good for me, but they only have four shades. They are very few. They need to come out with more colors and not only that, also a creamier formula. About the scent, it has a very, very light chemical scent. I don't feel anything on my face. It is very comfortable. I don't have any weird tingling feel. Feelings. I would say that this is a matte finish, not a natural matte because I don't see any sheen. However, it's not so so dry. It is just a little bit sticky. I also want to apply on top of it some other face products to see how well it works with them. And after that I'm gonna use this concealer by Essence. This is a camouflage matte concealer in the shade 30 Light Honey. I'm gonna use some on the eyes, also the under eye area, on the sides of my lips and to highlight my face on the forehead and the chin area. Also on some red spots. I'm using a damp sponge by Catrice to blend everything out. To lock everything into place, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I'm blending the creases, but it didn't crease a lot. And after that, I'm using the powder on top of it. And the brushes that I'm using are by Morphe. Before concealer, I applied some of the product on my hand. Let's see if it is oxidizing. So it oxidizes, but that's not even one shade darker it is a very light tone again the color didn't change that much up next i want to use something to contour my face and this is the sun sand and golden rainbows matte bronzing powder by essence what the name with a brush by bh cosmetics this is number three i'm gonna take some of this powder i'm diffusing this on my cheekbones forehead and also jawline this is in the shade summer loving so before i apply the product on the forehead i have noticed that it it looks a little bit patchier than before. It's not as smooth as without any powder on. I also think that on this cheekbone it is a little bit patchier. Somehow the foundation is removed, I think. And I can see some spots with that foundation on. It looks terrible on this side as well. And now I'm taking this brush by BH Cosmetics. This is number seven and the same powder again. And this time I'm gonna define the sides of my nose a little bit on the bridge and also the lower part. For blush, I'm gonna use the Blush Box by Catrice Cosmetics and I have here the shade 30 Golden Cora. With the same brush, I'm blending the product on the highest points of my cheeks. Now I'm removing some of the foundation on the cheek area. Why? Stay in place! And all the face products are products that I have tried again and again. I'm using them all the time and I know how they work on me. So it's not easy to fix it. A lot of times I can use foundation on the patchy areas, but I don't usually have this problem. I will try to fix this with my concealer because with the foundation, it's not working. I'm going to set it and after that, use again my bronzer and my blush. The patchiness is not so visible now. Moving on to this highlighter by Makeup Obsession. This is the Mega Honey Highlighter. I'm using the E40 brush by Sigma to apply some on the cheekbones and a little bit on the nose. Hi guys, it's been 11 hours and let's see what happened with the foundation. Zoom, zoom, zoom. As we can see, I am glowy all over my face. The foundation didn't crease a lot on my forehead or between the brows. It is something that you can very easily blend and then set with some powder. This foundation is for someone with normal to oily skin. I think this is very shiny and I have dry skin. On the forehead, it still looks patchy. Also, I didn't manage to cover this patchiness here. It's not so noticeable, but it's there. The foundation was all day very comfortable on my skin. It wasn't tight. My main issue is that it is very thick 
and I can use it only with my fingertips. I don't know why. Maybe I got a faulty product. I'm not very sure, but this foundation is very thick. Okay, so I don't want to say that I don't like it because I may be able to use it easier with another primer. So maybe something hydrating can prevent this patchiness that I have on my forehead or on the cheekbones. So I want to try it a little bit more just because it was so comfortable on my skin. I am disappointed with the formula. It doesn't look that bad on my face but I was expecting something different, something very similar to the Essence Mousse Foundation. So something that I like about this product is that you don't need a lot of powder to set it. However, we can see now that this is a very shiny finish. It didn't cling on any oily areas and basically nothing changed. Everything stayed the light it was. I still have a lot of coverage on my face. The coverage is very nice. I definitely need to use it with other primers as well. And I believe I can make it work. I have faith in this product. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried a mousse foundation that you like so I can try it too because I really like this formula now. You can find here a five minute eye look with only drugstore products. It is very easy. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and I will see you in the next one. Bye!